This is going to be an extremely short video. I thought I would make something new, seeing as it's the anniversary of the moon landing. I've seen so many people doing something on it, but it's all the same information, so I thought I would come up with something new. Or at least I think it's new. Uh, it's something that I have discovered myself, noticed myself. Now, whether or not other people, <coughs> at least somebody, must have, surely, have noticed this before uh, I'm just saying that I've not seen it so if they haven't I just want to get it out before it is noticed because if not then somebody is going to pick up on this one surely uh, so yeah I am not never even in this other album going to put out information that's been done before we all know that all images of the ball earth that they show you are all artwork uh, and in modern times they do it by Photoshop, right? And that's the guy that made the blue marble there, and that's enough of that. And the argument against that, well, there's no argument against that. Now, they will say, but on this map issue, the reason why it goes into the shape on the left is because it's they then put it onto a map, you know, something flat that you can lay on a table, and that's why it ends up being that shape. But it still doesn't explain the shape of Africa on their image of Earth, does it? Okay, so we'll move on. So the reason for the video, what I'm going to get to shortly, I had to take a look at the globe here. Uh, I'm not going to get into shadows, that's for other people. So, But I was looking at what I'm going to present and even the continents. You can go back and watch this or something similar to this and you can when they present a ball like this look when you look at a ball from one side right as long as you're at least some type of distance away you know you like your nose isn't touching it you are looking at half the ball right if anybody thinks any different to that then you're an idiot but when I were watching this thing spin round the continents seem to morph themselves just like the you know when we used to watch the news and they would show you the ball spinning round and then it would get to one part and you would see half a ball of the pacific ocean just covering one half of the ball and then the rest of the continents would come round for a while it just didn't make any sense i didn't realize at the time but this next image is kind of how they explain the solstice and this doesn't make any uh, any sense either because you've got a huge area I'm talking about I don't know what, what we're looking at there I suspect it would be from about the 66th parallel north and it is interesting how they use this illustration to kind of prove what I've just been showing you but yet they are using a flat surface of a spinning top and now the earth does not move but it is flat and because it's the only way that they can explain what you would see in the sky yes with Polaris being overhead uh, but it's not what you would see on a ball right unless you were stood at the north because it's angled off isn't it all the way around the edge you would not see that from anywhere else so that's interesting itself Anyway, the video, we're getting there now to what the reason for the video is about. And uh, if you look at these latitudes here, the, the furthest north and south is the 66th, which is ridiculous again. But you can see just how far up that takes it, yes. Now, Antarctica is completely closed off in the south to the 60th parallel. Right, you cannot go beyond that. I'm not going to get into that because a lot of people have done enough information on that. Because the globe heads are always piping on about us not having a correct map, but I can tell you that I've got nothing, I see nothing wrong with the azimuth or equidistant whatsoever just because we have a problem with how the sun works well we don't exactly know what it is uh, and what's up there making it act like it does so i have no problem at the end of the day it's flat and absolutely stationary uh, and we know that it's circular in nature because of the things that i will lay music over shortly but the main point is if you go find any balls and look at antarctica go look at images yourself 
all the sizes of Antarctica that they show you will all vary in sizes and then go look at the Pacific Ocean uh, and then try and fit the rest of the continents on the ball and I'm talking about any picture of any ball that you get up on Google go look at those two 